Hello there, Eruner here, and today we are going to review Boeotians who are from Thebes. Let's start with the hero, Terrasandros. He is a very defensive and protective hero with a lot of armor and defense and abilities like this. Boost his and his ally to have more armor and charge resistance. He can be more resistant to damage and heal up, have more armor, boost your, his allies with more defense and attack and be even more unbreakable as before. So let's review his uh, roster which will be kind of defensive. We are starting with Young Spears, a standard uh, early game Charger and Duelist, a very good unit all around. Next we have Poyaushan Tone Watch, which is just like Young Spears, but they are uh, slightly weaker because they have Battlefield healing ability. They might have slightly lower attack defense and damage. But if you are going to cycle charge and reuse the stun watch, then they will heal up and be more efficient than young spears. So you have two options like this in early game. Spears! Next we have standard spearmen frontline. Usually I do not recommend them because they are quite weak and not efficient enough. But that's your early game frontline. Alternatively, we can try the Boeotian Spearmen who got the expert charge defense and they can heal up, but you need to be swapping them and uh, with other units because their defense attack and weapon is slightly slower, lower, so they will need to be replaced with your reserves. So from Watchtower we can have Light Swordsman, a quite good flanker unit. You need to use it as flanker otherwise it would be losing duels against similar units. And alternatively to this we have the Boeotian Militia which is uh, similarly power powerful to Light Swordsman but they have flank defense instead of flanking attack. So you are going to support your front line uh, much better. And they have also some javelins to compensate their HP and stats. So next is the missiles. We can use Achaean Slingers, always good option. Uh, they are having a lot of ammunition, good range. Pretty good standard and efficient unit to use. Uh, the bowmen are not recommended in uh, most of campaigns and battles uh, because they don't have enough range and damage and also sk skirmishing power is very weak for them. But we can try using the Persian bowmen who got slightly better damage output and they can uh, they are much faster. This makes them much better and they can shoot while moving which is good for chasing enemy units so if you want some archers this is a unit you want to use and lastly in early game we have skirmishers these are very good cost efficient and damage dealing ja javelins you can have just like mycini so these guys are very good against armored units now let's move to the mid-game roster. Our front line is slightly better. Pretty decent stats, charge defense and battlefield healing. They are quite similar to the shielded spearmen. And you will use them like sh shielded spearmen, but without the two-handed uh, ability. So these are perfect for uh, 
absorbing enemy charge and then later you can replace them with your reserves. Next we have the Boeotian Armored Clubmen. They are pretty good uh, fighters, duelists and resistant to flanking. Uh, these boys are solid, they have strong weapon. You can reliably use them. You can use them instead of the frontline. Uh, the frontline option is able to heal up, so it's up to you if you want to replenish more or micromanage more. Next we have the Boyotian City Watch, which is pretty good uh, charger unit. Even though it's medium, uh, it has plenty of armor and they are very fast for such armor. And I recommend using these especially against swords because they are charged and bonus makes them very good at killing enemy swords. You will be running around it with these guys so they are going to heal up and always use them as flankers not as duelists. You got other units as for dueling. And in mid game we have our good melee chariots uh, pretty standard for Eki infections. I recommend using them in mid game. They are pretty powerful against a lot of units. Next, we have one unit that is between mid tier and late game. These armored archers uh, are from the tier 4 and they have pretty decent range and good damage. Uh, they are well armored uh, so these guys are pretty pretty good standard uh, archers and i recommend using them even in multiplayer battles okay now let's g get the high ground and move on the late game units so uh, these defenders of the thieves aka guards Guardians of the Seven Gates, they are perfect for holding and protecting your cities and what to say about them. They have amazing defense. You can heal them up and you will want to heal them up. Pretty good damage and you never charge with, with them because, you know, just five charge bonus is very low. But they are having big shields and armor this is your solid front line in late game next we have Tiban nobles these guys are pretty scary pretty pretty good they are performing almost like archive sword masters or any elite unit they are perfect for flanking and not being flanked so you can expect some good results from this unit. Uh, they will club enemies to the death and if you use them as um, annoying flankers you are going to do very well with these guys. But be aware they are a bit slow because they are well armored. Next we have our heavy chargers guards of Cadmea. They have instant charge and pretty strong weapon. They are quite defensive, so they are able to survive and they will delete uh, low tier units, no problem. If you can manage to heal them up and charge again, it's even better. So this is your heavy shock cavalry. Next uh, we have the master archers of Thebes, uh, the endgame archers very good range and missile damage when they run out of ammunition which is not likely they are able to defend well or if you get uh, well flanked by enemies and player enemy player will catch them uh, you, you can be sure that these archers are going to survive with their melee defense so uh, I think these are pretty decent archers. 
especially for dealing with uh, enemy low tier units or in fighting in general. And very lastly, we got the standard chariots. Uh, very good heavy chariot. I recommend using this. Now, uh, how would I recommend using this faction? You can uh, you can play it as a beginner friendly without guards of Kadme. You don't need to worry about charge. Uh, you can decide whether you want to use a lot of uh, uh, spear front lines or maybe uh, the club front lines. And if you manage to get to the late game, you will want to use archers. That would be very simple beginner friendly army composition. For advanced players, I would recommend using uh, either Tiban Nobles as your elite core. Uh, you need chariots, of course. And let's see which mid-tier units would be very well uh, suited for this uh, army. Oh yes, I really want to use City Watch because they are pre they are going to be very good flankers and I will want to bring them to my late game army as well. Um, then in missiles, I might use the Ekian Slings for very good early game skirmishing. You don't have to. You can rely on your expensive good uh, archers. So that would be it. Uh, the guards of Kadmea, I would bring one or two to have them in reserves uh, because they are able to kill enemy cavalry and chariots. Oh yes, they are good against uh, chariots and they are going to survive enemy chariots as well and then heal up. So yeah, I would bring at least one of these guys. And Gardens of the Seven Gates, yes, these guys are perfect for eating arrows and uh, also healing up. Yeah, if uh, somebody wants to skirmish, I'm going to use this front line. I think Boshans are having pretty good uh, fine roster. You can use them quite simply and efficiently. And that is all. See you later.